The Adi River demolition is a situation that has left many Kenyans at a standstill. The victims asking the question why? Why should their house be demolished? Houses they have spent millions of money building. But what is said is that the land belongs to the government. Do you think the government is doing justice to the victims? That is what you are going to ask today. From Media Digital Media, I'm your host, Vero Gitea. Kwa majina naitwa James Njoroge na mimi nataka kwetu kwetu ni karatina. Nataka kuchangia hii mjadala ile inatendekea wale rafiki yetu wale ukambani pale hapo Bachakos County. Mimi komoni yangu I agree with the government because the work of the government is to inform you of vitu zinafaitendeke kwa inchi. For example, all the land belong to the government. Iko hata hiyo kwako, hiyo ni ya serikali. Kitujue, all the land belong to the government. So long as you are in the Republic of Kenya. So ndio hapo ndikigawiwa kuna private na kuna communal ukitaka. So that's why nasema hivi. Government through the demarcation walisasema walisasema allocate pale yule maliji likutendeka jana kwamba ni government uh, public land. Si ndio? Government ni peana information. Wewe kama ulitoka kwa nyumba yako ujui ukienda kwa serikali don't blame the government. For example the work of the government, for example, is, is their work is to inform you kumba nyoka inakonga na poison. Government ita kuwa ita kulinda, ukienda kushika nyoka. Si government wasa sema pale ni lini ni shamba yao. Na wewe pia unatoka from nowhere, unajifanya wewe ni fala, unenda kujenga nyumba. Ndi ujenga pama ni domu, ni ulie. So mina sema hivi. <laughs> government, yes. Government, hata hapa. Isa julikani ya public land. Hapa hakuna, mutu, uh, hakuna mutata kuja kujenga nini stall hapa. Na ukijifanya fala usema wewe umekutana na ujiayo, amekuuzia hapa. Hiyo ni fala yako. Don't blame the government. Yes. Bena kisha kubroke, uwekuuzia jivanji, unakaa hapa, unafraia, at government protect you. Na unajua Ben, ujua tabia Ben, na unajua ya ujiayo. So, government inangalia haji. Government, na maza bwana. Yes. So, mina sema, the work of the government, kitu ya kwanza ujue, basic information, all the lands belong to the government. Hata hiyo nyumba yako ni ya serikali. Kama utaki, kama utaki kuwa, kuwa land yako, if you don't want your land to belong to the government, then I'm a Kenya. Yes, they will not, government, will, government of Kenya will not interfere with Uganda. Lakini hii parameter yao, hii parameter yao, hii yetu hii. Haina shida. So that's why nasema, hii mambu yo conmanship muwache. Muda hizi kuambia kwamba wende pale state house, umeuzea state house, kwa ni ukua hapi, na usia juwa government of the mark kwamba pale is, is, is state house and is government land. So wale rafiki yetu si mbaya mtachanuka tu pole pole mulisaba example so wa Kenya wengine pia wasiuziwe shamba ya serikali so wale watu wetu pia ungeze tu na maombi eh, maybe miracle look happen you can be government na of course sisi watu ni wa serikali government tunamjia mlienda sara kidogo ni wa taxpayers muliza tafutiwa shamba ingi lakini ile makosa ni ya ni yao ingekuwa ni mimi ningefanywa vitu kama hizo but we think because because maybe kwetu karatina tuko karibu na town kutoka malaishi na karatina town niko na much in, niko more informed singeenda ku trespass kwa government land ni buy kwa ni kwetu kuna land yes because yes so hiyo ni what will do wale walikuwa affected government to me money yangu government wa jaribu kuwarudisha shule so that wa, yes wajue more information about yes wajue the process Usi, usitoe kama masika unaenda kununua land state house alafu unakuja kulia ukibomolewa yes because in fact government also spare them because kama waenda kama state house they, wangeuliwa yes so because government walikuwa jua jua government walikuwa na bia pale hakuna mtalikufa but government walikuwa na toa hiyo structure they were assuming Hizo zibitu zilimea, hizo maland zilimea, hizo manyumba zilimea. Because that is their land. They don't expect any modi ya kuja hende panya panya nini, ajenge. Sindio? Ya, hiyo ni mauni yangu. We want to congratulate the government. We want to congratulate the government of His Excellency, William Samuel Ruto. Wa sababu hao watu ambaye walikuwa na jenga pale ovyo ovyo, kwa hile shamba wanajua vizuri sana. Ya kwamba shamba ni ya... Kenya Portland Authority. Wanajua kabisa ya kwamba hiyo shamba ni shamba ya serikali na wanaenda wanajenga hapo. Number 1, the government should even arrest go ahead and arrest these people. Naona? 
because our watu ni wale watu ambao wanaleta ujinga and they should be they should even go ahead and be charged for trespassing after trespassing they should pay for the damages they've been staying in that land for so many years hii shamba sasa hizi ngekuwa imesaidia Kenya Ports and Authority kufanya vitu mingi sana lakini kwa sababu ya their encroachment to that land the government has lost a lot of revenue from that land so these people the government even should go ahead after wakisha bomolewa hao watu wafai kuachiliwa ati wanalialia kwa tv hao watu wanafaa kuwa cells hizi kwa sababu they encroached We should stop such a talk by the way. They encroach yeah, in public I, land. No, no. Because no, this thing is very serious, eh? You guys, eh? You guys, you let me tell you something. You think that I'm joking, but I'm very serious. Saizi wewe huwezi tolewa huko nyumbani ati mwambiwe uuzi uuziwe shamba hapa jibanji, alafu unatoa pesa unalipa. Hiyo ni ujinga kiasi gani hiyo? In fact, Ben is very How do you go and buy the land that you understand it belongs to the government? Lazima ikuwe funzo kwa wajinga wale ambao walikoniwa hapo na wengine wenyu ambao wanapanga kuibiwa mashamba ya serikali atunataka kujenga kwa shamba ya serikali. Kwani hao wakamba hawana mashamba za ancestral land ati atinasikia mbunge mwingine anasema hapo ati squatters ati wavinya wandeti anasema ati squatters. Squatter mgani anaweza jenga nyumba ya 5 million? Home is a squatter. Squatter amejenga nyumba ya 5 million. We want to proceed. We want to ask the DCI. Yeah. To go ahead and arrest these these people, these trespassers, washikwe. Now we calculate wameishi kwa hii shamba for how many years? Na tuangalia kwamba watu how much money they should pay for trespassing into a government land. Now watu ndugu yangu, hii ujinga inaendelea sana. Do you know the process? Do you know the process? Sasa hizi ukijenga 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 hapa Nairobi hata ukitaka kuleta stima kwa hiyo boma yako do you know the process you must provide a title deed so even these people should go ahead and arrest the Kenya Power eh, conmen wenye walileta stima kwa hizi mashamba na wakijua ni kwamba watu waona title deeds ambazo ni legitimate but finally i want to ask the government mimi personally i've been go- mimi nimeenda kwa hiyo shamba Nilikuwa nimeenda ku grab shamba hapo kwa sababu nilisikia nilikuwa nimesikia nilikuwa nimesikia kwamba shamba ina grabiwa hapo I want to tell you for free that there are so many people who have died in that land Hapo kwa hiyo shamba na government hizi jifanya sasa hizi atawajui hapo hivi inakuwa na cartels kuna kuwa na watu wameuka na bunduki huyu kirima huyu kijana yake anashindaga hapo kirima the son of kirima anashindaga hapo na guns wake na huyu mama anaitwa Vinya Ndeti anakuwaga na watu hapo wako na mishale. Ukijaribu kwenda ati unataka kuuza shamba ambaye si ya Vinya Ndeti. Ile mishale watu wameukufa hapo wengi sana. The DCI should be able to investigate and unearth the scandals that have been there. But lastly, lastly, hawa watu wote ambaye wamebomolewa manyumba hapo. There is enough evidence that these are people who had encroached in public lands. We want to ask the government, the DCI, especially to go ahead and arrest these people. Ah watu tunawanalialia kwa TV hapa tunatafuta public sympathy. These people should not even be allowed to cry. Ah watu wanafaa kulia ndani ya jela saa hizi. Ah watu wanafaa kushikwa by now. Washikwe waingishwe huko ndani kwa sababu how do you build on a public land? Ah watu kinunua hizi mashamba, wako wanajua hii shamba ni ya serikali. Hiyo ujinga lazima ishi hapa Kenya and we want to be very happy and we want to support the president of the republic of kenya kwa maana inji wa kawaida ni jambo la kuzikitisha kwa sababu by the end of the day makosa ni ya government watu wajajenga saa hii hizo manyumba si za box na tu waliamka asubuhi wakajenga ikijengwa government ilikuwa naona na ikifika hapo kifika mpaka hapo imefika wameona wale ambao wamejenga si mandege ya hawani kiwango kwamba wataamuka tu asubuhi na waende kwa mtingini ni binadamu kwa hivyo tukiangia katika haki za kibinadamu hiyo ni makosa hiyo kwa ufupi bila ubaya ni kuonyesha kwamba ile our government ni government ambayo haijui inafanya nini kwa sababu watu kama hao 
ukuta watu zaidi ya elf zaidi ya 1000 people wamekuwa homeless na huu ni mtu na watoto mku bwana mwenye nyumba na watoto sasa hebu nataka wa assume uchukue uvaa hiyo kiatu wewe binafsi ukuta kama ni wewe umepomolea nyumba ambayo unakaa na umebaki bila nyumba na uko na watu wadogo utawapeleka wapi ni nani watu 1000 wana ni wapi wanaanza enda wazeme wakae kwa nyumba za majirani yao uelewe hivi maboko mahali ambayo yamepomolewa si kwamba ni reserve ni kama town ni town as well si mahali ambayo unaweza sema kwamba nitaamuka nielekee kwa, kwa babu yangu pale ama kwa babu yangu mdogo tukae na watoto pale nikitafuta namna neno la pili sheria za Kenya ziko wazi kwamba hakuna kitu inaitwa ni molution bila kukuwa na utaratibu ambayo imefanyika ili tuweze kuona nini ambayo imefanyika hatuwezi weka siasa katika haki za kibinadamu is not about UDA ama azimio is about ukweli wa binadamu hakuna serikali ambayo iko sawa na akili zao ziko sawa ambao wanaanza kuamua kitendo kama hicho ambacho kimefanyika pale ya Thiriva. On my side sikuichukulia kama ni kitu ya mzaa. Ni kitu ambayo inauzi sana. Kwa hivyo tafadhali kwa wale ambao wanayeongea wanayo wanayezunguza imambo lazima waichukulie na uzito sana kwa sababu si jambo la kucheka. Si jambo la kuongea ndio uenjoy watu waonekane kama vile ambao unajua kuongea sana. No. It's about right ya human being kama wewe ni binadamu utafanya namna gani ndio uchukue hiyo hiyo njambo weke kwa mguu yako hiyo kama wewe mwenyewe ndio umefanywa namna hiyo ingekuwa namna gani neno la pili pale at river area hiyo ya, ya, ya mlolongo na hapo sio kimao kutemka hapo mpaka hapo hapo kwa kwa kuwa na tabia mbaya si ya kupendeza 2006 kuna wakati ambayo watu walikuwa na uana hapo kwa sababu ya shamba ya Poland imesonga kutoka 2006 imesonga ikisukumana na mambo ya mashamba ambayo nakuta kwamba umepata shamba kwa njia mbia si si halali kwa mlengo wa kushoto na hiyo mwishowe inaleta shida kwa hivyo ndiyo sababu naona kwamba ninalaumu nani government kwa sababu hizo makateo zote ambazo zinafanya hiyo mambo huwa zinatoka wapi kwa serikali kwa kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na katazi ya title deed akiwa amaprint barabarani bila kuwa na copy ya ya ile original. Kwa hiyo na, na ukienda kuangalizo matitles zote zile ambazo ziko hapo fake utakuta kwamba ile ni title deed anakaa kama original. Tofauti ni vile ni serial number ni moja. Unakuta hii na hii na hii zote zinafanana na serial number ndio moja. Kwa hivyo ile kitu ambayo ilioko ni jambo ambayo unastahili kuangalia kwa na macho yote mawili. Kwa kuna kitu ambayo tunastahili kwa kwamba naichukulia kama mzaa ama uchukulie kwa sababu ya kuna ama uweke tumbo yako mbele. Zeme huo wale walipewa pesa. Hiyo itakuwa naongea nonsense. Lazima tuangalie mambo zingine ni jambo gani ambayo tunaongelea na ni kwa nini tunaongelea na inatusaidia namna gani US as human being. Nimewasema nimesema kwamba ni lazima ufikirie na uchukue uchukue mguu yako wewe kwa hiyo kiatu kama ni wewe ungesikia namna gani utoke hapa hivi wende ukute mamako ama ama mke wako eko nje na nyumba yote iko chini utafanya mbali na hela zile ambazo zimetumika wewe mwenyewe utasikia namna gani niambie mahali ambayo unaweza kupeleka watoto wako